gosh, you don't know how important this time is to me right now to just sit down, close myself off from the building site that is going on outside right now. If you're following along on my homeware accounts and my renovation vlog series, which I've just started last week, <laughs> you'll understand, let me just say that. If you haven't already, grab yourselves a, a nice warm drink, cold drink, depending on what the weather's like today. Sit back, relax, get comfy, and let's just have a good, fun unboxing haul. I feel like you're quite far away from me today. A little bit closer, there we go. This actually, this top was originally from Mango, but I got this from Everything Five Pounds in my last haul. So if you actually don't know what it is, or if you're new to my channel, the regulars will know I work with Everything Five Pounds on a regular basis, but it's essentially an online retailer that sells everything for five pounds or less, because sometimes they do do flash sales, which are incredible, with prices like from a pound, really affordable. And it's a lot of X season stock, old stock that high street retailers, online retailers no longer need, no longer want, and instead of them going to landfill, they go to everything five pounds and you guys get them at the bargain price of just a fiver or less. So I have, over the years of doing everything five pounds dot com hauls, with them in collaboration, but also even from before I ever worked with them, like some of my first ever videos are hauls from everything five pounds. So I am a regular customer, I shop their website pretty much every day, I get their email notifications to see what is new in every single day, because when the good stock is on, it goes quick. I've got some H&M bits in, I've got some Urban Outfitters bits in this haul, um, I've got a whole host of goodies. Let's just get into it, shall we? <laughs> Stop rambling. The first thing I did pick up is this stone sweatshirt hoodie. Um, I say stone, that's what they called it on the website, but I would say it's like more of a mushroom kind of colour. Um, this is a really, really nice, simple, basic hoodie that I actually picked up in a really pretty light pastel blue colour last time. And because I was impressed with the quality, I decided to go for this colour as well. I just think it's a really nice kind of... You know like Kanye West Yeezy style colour. I'm loving these kind of tones, these earthy khakis, green, sage green, this kind of mushroom brown as well. So anyway, that is the first item that I got. This is in a medium. Some of the more well-known brands are cut out though, but I can work my shopaholic skills and try and figure out where they're from. So this one, for instance, has the label cut out, but with that little G at the end, I'm recognizing the font. I could tell this is a pretty little thing. So in a UK 12, this is a really pretty white dress that has really nice long sleeves, and it also has a kind of frill detail along both arms and across the waist along the middle there, which I just think is a nice little added element and it kind of pleats down into just a very simple dress. Very comfy and loose, lightweight this one is, and perfect for this kind of spring transition when we still have some cooler days and you want to be a bit more covered with the arms. I also picked up these joggers. They did have a matching sweatshirt, which I was very tempted for, kind of regretting not picking up now. Um, but I did just go for the joggers on this occasion. I loved the beige and white two-toned element to these joggers. They're also a really nice kind of thick ribbed fabric. Nice cinched in drawstring waist as well and I got these ones in a medium. It's either Zara or because they've cut it out it's one of the Zara brands so it might be Pull and Bear or Stradivarius but I can tell from the font and the labelling. I decided to pick up this hoodie. I'm not 100% sure on this. Now when I do everything five pounds hauls I do get a lot. I definitely don't keep everything because that would just be crazy if there's too much to keep. I do tend to just keep my favourites and I love the light blue hoodie that I got. I love this colour. But this one you'll have to let me know because it's actually like a tri-colour is what I'm going to describe this one as. So it's got the dark beige hood part to this hoodie along with the arms. But the middle panel is a light beige. And then the little drawstring cinching bit here around the hood is cream. It's kind of like a linen-y canvas material. So I love these colours. But do they work as like a block colour for this hoodie? I don't know. Next up I got this jumpsuit and I definitely wanted to test this. Now I have actually tried everything on. I did size up to, I think, I'll try and leave sizing information below, but I'm pretty sure I sized up to an 18 in this one or a 16. It's a ribbed jumpsuit in this really pretty kind of peachy nude with pocket details, a little kind of t-shirt top to this. 
and it does also come with the tie waist and this is where I made it work because with this kind of jumpsuit style like I have one from Primark for instance that's a really nice soft grey cotton that is very loose fitting and very oversized naturally anyway so that's just how I'm making this one fit as an oversized fit kind of around the house outfit but the fact that it's in a jumpsuit form I think makes it look really nice oh fun little summer's accessory here a little hat how pretty is this straw hat it comes with a linen bow in this beautiful kind of beige color and they did have different colors of this hat available i went for the i think it was the white or cream and beige option it comes with a little string in the inside of the hat so that you can make it to like fit your head because i tend to have quite a big head but anyway and it's just like a very relaxed kind of summer's hat. Love these colours and love that bow design. I can just imagine watching Tom play cricket with a nice white summer's dress and wearing this hat. So for £5, it's an absolute bargain. Pop of colour with a really nice kind of uh, nautical style blue and white stripe shirt dress this one is it is collared as you can tell but like an open collar design a really nice length of mini it's not too short which i personally appreciate because i don't like it when dresses are too short it doesn't have the original branding on but it is in a size medium and it does have little gold buttons on the cuff it's just a really nice lightweight shirt material okay this next one i'm gutted that they didn't have a bigger size in because i absolutely love this but i don't know whether i should keep it just on that basis alone so this is in an extra small but i'll show it to you anyway because i love the color of it i mean it still fits me but i just like my sweatshirts quite oversized on me personally um so yeah it's a really nice beige and white tie-dye which i know tie-dye um can be a bit of a trend led item but the fact that it's these neutral kind of tones i think it just looks really really pretty again really nice spring summer sweatshirt for in an evening to just have with you just in case but i really really like that i just wish they had a bigger size i'm definitely gonna keep my eyes peeled for if they do get bigger sizes in and pick up that if they do this is the item that i noticed is from urban outfitters i can't tell you how soft this hoodie is it's so soft and so like lightweight but still warm and cozy at the same time because it's got like a really nice soft fleecy inner liner in a large this one is and it has the original price label and everything to it at 39 dollars so i'm guessing this is urban outfitters america this one came from with some like high-waisted denim shorts in the summer this is a really relaxed open neck fit i think it's a really like good staple to have next item is from h&m again i can tell by the labeling in a uk 12 this one is in and it's a really kind of safari style khaki play suit so it is short and it's got the cinched in waist there so it has tortoise shell buttons running down and then on the pocket details as well nice collared tailored kind of look to it this is definitely going to be a nice summer's outfit i feel like a summer evening just um a bit more cash maybe with my uh veja veja trainers however you pronounce them so just to like casual them down a bit or you could definitely wear this dressed up a bit more with maybe heels in the summer this was a bit unique a bit of a fun find it's from the brand big dot and it's in a uk 14 this label says but this crossed out as a 12 so this might be a prime example of stock that has nothing wrong with it it's not even necessarily old season but it gets sent to everything five pounds if there's an error on the labeling so i mean i'm just presuming that this is a really nice linen shirt with a kind of lace-up design neck detail which i'm picturing wearing open to be completely honest with you i mean it is nice clothes but i like the more relaxed fit of having it open just a really pretty fabric nice and lightweight and perfect color for spring summer i mean that is what this haul is pretty much based around i did get one pair of shoes in this haul and it's from the brand arden beige and white colored pair of like plimps old style trainers really relaxed and again, that kind of linen-y canvas material. I love playing around with textures and this in particular, I love linens. So uh, the fact that I could get my hands on a pair in this color 
for a fiver was a win-win. They definitely had other colours available from memory, but obviously I opted for the most neutral that they had. Okay, next up I have a checked shirt, but I'm not sure I'm going to keep this one just because of the style of it. I'm not really sure if it's me. I also think it's maybe... I don't know, maybe I'm purchasing it at the wrong time of the year, but in a large, it has like this raw hem, which I think is what's putting me off. I don't know why, I just, I'm not really a fan of that. I don't know why, I don't know. I think it's these bits on the arms as well. They've got little kind of like buckle details. You could definitely easily just cut that off though. So I might just mm, try and make it work and maybe wear it more open with like a little white dress underneath. Next up, we have an item from oasis little basic top but it's got a really pretty kind of broderie anglaise style design cut out detail to it um and then the little puff just not nothing dramatic just nice and simple puff sleeve with a cinch in around the arm i would wear this with something high-waisted maybe even just plain and simple straight leg a light blue wash jean it's a really nice soft fabric as well that one another white jumper dress that i picked up this time it has a drawstring around the middle so it's made from this kind of like jersey fabric similar to this in that it's like a really soft relaxed cotton which i just think is so comfortable and good for like every day and then the cinch in really allows you to just kind of be flexible with choosing your sizing that's what i love about a cinch in waist i got a size 38 speaking of simple and white i picked up another top to show you and i can't figure out what the labeling is on this one if you can let me know but it's in an extra large this one and it's a really soft brushed cotton ribbed knit top essentially with a little cinched in around the wrists and also around the waist as well that brushed cotton almost feels loungewear like to me so i feel like i would love to wear this just around the house um with some like leggings or whatever and just a nice comfy casual day this is definitely a designer inspired item it's in a really light khaki almost sage green color with a black letter pattern on it it's from that same brand big dart again and this time in a uk Okay, again, this is an example of labelling. This one says UK 10, but on the actual paper label it says UK 12. So anyway, you can see what sort of size it is. And it kind of reminds me of the Dior logo. So it's very similar in that it's got that kind of shape, but it's the letter P, obviously. You can see that. I don't know if it's me, per se, but I just loved that this was a designer dupe, so I had to throw it in there because for me, I'm always keeping my eyes peeled for affordable alternatives to higher end items. Even when it comes to homeware, you guys know the amount of white company dupes videos I do. It's nice to get the look, but on a budget. I picked up this top. This is the next one. It's from the brand Sheena's in a medium. They did have lots of colors available of this one. I went for the dark khaki. So it's that kind of shared paneling where it's super stretchy and fitted to your frame. So they also have that little paneling there on the sleeves and it's a really pretty kind of square neckline because the sleeves just sit really nicely on the shoulder like that this one is somewhat similar i'm going to say in that it's a white top with the shirt paneling um obviously not similar in color because this one is white this one is from la rue in a medium and the sleeves are cinched in at the bottom as well there so really pretty top that one again i think that they had that one in several colors okay i'm really excited for this one i don't really know the branding this is in a medium but i loved the look of this again they had this in different color variants i went for the light gray and white stripe and it's just very simply summer's dress spring dress nice long length as well i love a midi length and this has pocket details as well an absolute steal for a fiver and one that i think i'm going to wear a lot it's going to be one of those things that i just reach for because it's so comfy and then this one i feel like the same but on the cooler days because of the long sleeve length with this one so again it is that kind of breton stripe design with the beige and white this time rather than the gray and this is from the brand seymour boxy fit to this one and quite long as well this one it definitely is more mid-axi i would say but i feel like this would be really nice to wear now 
you know what else it's still those cooler days length i think you could definitely match with maybe some chunky black ankle boots into autumn as well oh my gosh some of you are gonna absolutely hate me right now look at the color inside the box for the rest of the items oh my gosh so this next item is kind of similar to this one in that it's a creamy white sweatshirt top but it has the balloon sleeve detail so a bit of a puff a bit more feminine cuffed at the um, arms and it's not as cropped as the one i'm wearing now so it's just a nice length to be able to like tuck into jeans we have more texture with this linen shirt which i love in a medium this one is in and it's a little collared short sleeved pocket detailed um I'm, i want to say blouse with a little tie here that you could either tie or probably how i would wear it is just honestly tuck those little bits in so it just kind of sits tucked in to the top of like some jeans or something i'm just going to mention both of these items at the same time and then show you them individually because they're the exact same color and fabric and the labeling suggests that they are both from the same place as well and it looks like they might be from cos which is one of my favorite Oh, I was going to say one of my favourite brands, it's not because let's be honest it's very expensive and I don't shop there very often but second to like Zara maybe for one of the more high end high street stores Cos is just beautiful with its design and styles, I love it Tom actually loves Cos, he has quite a few things from there but anyway, this first one is a dress, really pretty high neckline with it i love these thick straps really nice and it's very simply mid axi i'm going to say in length with a slit up the back and it does have this kind of like um kind of strap design that falls all the way down the back of the dress which you could just leave loose you could bow you could tie however you want hidden zip as well on the back and i picked this one up in a medium it's very lightweight so perfect for the warmer months the other item that i think is equally from cos is definitely a bit quirky a bit different this is actually stereotypical style for somewhere like cos in that it's quite unique quirky I kind of love it so it's a tunic style dress this one so as you can tell the buttons go all the way up to a high neck but then they stop midway so that round here I'm going to say this sits kind of on your hips to the, your waist it just drops into just plain simple sh shirt dress so you could ha definitely wear them open it looks more just like a shirt dress and the buttons are also wooden which i think adds you know a nice element something a bit different i also picked up this white summer's dress and again i love this fabric this is in a medium and it's a really pretty white kind of vest strappy top to it so definitely for when it's really warm it's got the kind of like resin style hardware here and it cinches in at the waist all the way round and then goes into a nice long midi length there's also a, a double lining underneath next up i got a pair of white trousers trousers or skirt skirt this one sorry i thought it was trousers it is a button down all the way i remember what this is now they had a matching shirt to this like a short sleeve shirt that you could tuck into this skirt and have it look like a dress but they were out of stock in my size which is so upsetting but i did opt for the skirt anyway i think this would be nice with like a little white body or a little bandeau top or something even just on the beach would be really nice this one is from new look new look skirt that one is so yeah quite often i see new look on everything five pounds as well actually i remember seeing this last year from primark it is a denim dress with the contrast stitching in this really pretty kind of beige color but like quite dark beige and it has a button down detail all the way down the front to again a midi length to just below the knee which is nice now because it is denim it is quite thick so maybe like more springtime i suppose just to keep you a little bit warm but then it is sleeveless okay good old staple basic white tee this one and it's quite sheer this one so i would definitely wear like a little triangle bralette from like lounge underwear or something that if you see it you kind of it's okay to see it you know what i mean it says it's in a uk 18 i think this is new look as well actually now to me this isn't an 18 this is definitely maybe age 18 
then again what size is an age 18 person it's got little roll up sleeves and just a very simple white basic tee penultimate item now we have a bodysuit again this one is from the brand souffle 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 so it's a ribbed knit look how tiny it looks it is very stretchy this one um, but it's a rib neck collared long sleeved body which i thought was definitely something a little bit different i love the idea of it but i just don't own anything like it so i'm struggling to think how i would style it but it is really pretty and i do love a good bodysuit especially in summer i have quite a collection of bodysuits now okay the last and final item is the perfect staple that everyone must have in their wardrobe so to get it for a fiver get it quick this is just a plain and simple cotton white shirt a very relaxed fit this one does have um like an open collar design kind of to it there's the buttons don't go all the way up to the top so i would definitely just wear this oh, so many different ways but in summer i think just half tucked into some blue denim jeans but also maybe with the sleeves rolled up worn open with a nice knit kind of textured swimsuit in cream underneath on holiday last i dream of a beach holiday somewhere i hope you guys enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it thank you once again to everything five pounds for very kindly working with me on today's video do let me know which are your favorites and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys